The Shore Leadership Program offers executives, managers, and leaders on Maryland's Eastern Shore the opportunity to deepen their understanding of the issues and challenges facing our region. Led by facilitators, participants are guided through skill-building activities and conversation to foster collaboration and problem-solving. A measurable impact on the expansion of personal and professional networks among the class participants is an inevitable outcome. Thank you for joining us today. We are here to learn about Shore Leadership, a program that's all across the shore that if you have a business or if you need help, this might be the perfect program for you. And we have Joe Thomas with us here today to learn all about Shore Leadership and what it can do for you. So Joe, before we really dig in, what is Shore Leadership? Shore Leadership's a lot of things, but I think <laughs> primarily it is community-based executive education. It's not unlike executive education, specifically in leadership and management issues that you'd get from any of the best business schools in the country. Uh, the only difference is the affiliation is with the counties of Maryland's Eastern Shore. So the network itself is focused on uh, Maryland's Eastern Shore. So we're keeping it very community-based? Very community-based. Excellent. Yeah. So Joe, you've been doing this for 10 years, right? That's right. You have a That's big right. background. Could you let the people know how you got involved and, and kind of your background in this? Yeah, so I, I co-facilitate it. That's important to know as well. Uh, my co-facilitator is named Carol Gracer. My background is primarily in public sector leadership. Carol's is in private sector leadership. She's got a, a great background in uh, senior leadership uh, roles, responsibilities at IBM, Cater Air, Marriott, things like that, uh, where I'm retired from the Marine Corps. Uh, it was my first career. My second career, uh, which I'm currently still in, uh, I'm at the Naval Academy as a director of the Stockdale Center for Ethical Leadership there. Uh, both of us do a bunch of work. Uh, in executive ed in other settings, uh, the Smith School of Business at the University of Maryland, uh, Darden School of Business at the University of Virginia. But uh, during our time with Shore Leadership, it's taking some of the best of, of her experiences, some of the best of my experiences, that kind of business school approach and applying it to, uh, to the folks that, uh, that come sit with us and, and we learn a lot from in the process. How much do you enjoy it? Love it. Uh, <laughs> this, this has been such a fun ride for both Carol and I. Yeah. Because uh, not only we get to meet some really great people, but the way Shore Leadership is executed every afternoon of our, our sessions in residence, uh, we get to explore one or another aspect of, uh, of Eastern Shore economy uh, yeah. and, and society. And it's just fascinating. Yeah, I saw some of the classes you have coming up and you guys really explore some neat activities. You, you're out and about. You're not just in the room, right? That's, that's a fact. Yeah. yeah. It, it, typically the way they work is in the mornings we focus on a leadership topic. So leadership is defined in a lot of different ways. We're really about uh, trying to add value <clears throat> to the kind of mid-career or even senior professionals that come and attend uh, to, to solve problems, real problems faced uh, by businesses across Maryland's Eastern Shore. So after that conversation, that deep dive, and, and hopefully providing some tools that are useful in real time mm -hmm. for them when they go back to the office, uh, we spend that afternoon then, uh, could be in agriculture, could be in tourism, uh, it could be in manufacturing, any number of things that is done here on the Eastern Shore, we'll explore in detail in the afternoon. That's amazing. So let's, let's dig into shore leadership a little bit. Sure. This program is great for management. Why do, why do you think business should send managers to this program to, to kind of learn? Yeah, again, I, I think the way to look at the shore leadership experience is really this is executive education. Uh, these are things that you'd have to send people uh, far and wide to, uh, to actually experience. But shore leadership brings it all right here to Maryland's Eastern Shore. Uh, and we'll, we'll get some guests in, certainly for the afternoon sessions, who represent very senior leaders from a variety of places from across the shore. And, and again, in the morning, we'll do those deep dives in executive ed topics that uh, are really practically based on, on problem solving. So that's why it's probably perfect for all types of businesses, because it's very diverse. So how, how do you tackle that? It is. Well, context matters for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, we, we typically start off each session with a conversation. Okay, we're a check-in on where everybody is right now. We take a look at what are some of the problems, uh, people or challenges that people are facing uh, on the job or in life, uh, and we'll leverage those to, to build those conversations. Uh, I'd also like to think that most of what we do transcends narrow context because if you take that leadership is about the process of directing, influencing, inspiring others toward a common purpose, 
that very broad-based approach to leadership, then uh, the, the problem-solving skills that you'll get in this program apply anywhere, regardless of what the field is. You, you actually just kind of answered my next question, but if you want to dig a little deeper, how will they be able to apply this to their workforce when they get back? Well, we're, we focus on tools, for sure. Uh, it, it's conversational in nature, no question about that, but we'll typically put at least two or three tools on the table. And what I mean by tools are uh, ways to think about problem solving in team environments. It might be a conversation, for example, one week on better decision making, making better decisions mm -hmm. uh, on the job. That is, of course, a science all unto itself. And as a result, uh, we're going to give some guidelines, some templates uh, through which to make better decisions. The very next month, we quite possibly will have a conversation about emotional intelligence, social emotional awareness and intelligence. Uh, so that if you have human challenges, as we say, uh, on the job or in life, uh, we have some ways, some techniques to be more aware of what we bring to the table individually and how to diagnose challenges that others may present to us in a, in a professional setting. So again, as practical as we could possibly make it, that's where we're going. Right, and we got into your background a little bit, but how have your experiences helped to, to kind of facilitate this program and, and, and teach them? Yeah, I, I, in, in my own case, I, I came into this whole leadership thing a little bit sideways, <laughs> a little over 30 years ago now. Uh, I was still on active duty in the Marine Corps and, um, and doing some work using statistical modeling for research purposes. And in the end, I found a, a great need within that organization, within the Marine Corps, for assessing leadership curriculum. And this is before leadership was the interdisciplinary uh, subject that it is today. It's a booming industry. And if you believe Forbes magazine, $160 billion are spent every year in the United States alone on leadership development. Now, what, what that really means is, and what I've come to find over, over time, is a lot of the stuff that's being done out there is uh, it's kind of weaving together buzzwords and platitudes about how to be better at one thing or another, but there's never a, a way to measure whether you're making progress. We at Shore Leadership, back to the idea of tools, is we try to give people something to sink their teeth into that they can try in the office or try back in their, in their professional lives uh, and then give us feedback on that. We solicit that feedback so that they know they're going to get a return on investment uh, for their time and, of course, the money that it takes to participate in shore leadership. Right, and you just said that it's a booming industry, it's which also industry. means there's lots of other programs out there. So we're yeah. not saying any of those are bad, That's right. but I want to know right. what makes yours a little different. Yeah, I think the real uh, strength of, of shore leadership, there are many of them, mm -hmm. uh, is the fact that it's a combination of the best of executive education. Okay. Uh, along with a network that is anchored here on Maryland's Eastern Shore, that is guided by the challenges that face professionals here on Maryland's Eastern Shore, and it's got a long history. It's a quarter century, century history of bringing together people to solve these practical problems. So in this way, we build year on year on some of those lessons learned on how to face future challenges. Great, great. So a lot of people have been attending. Like we said, it's been going on for over 20 years now, correct? 25 years, yeah. 25, that's amazing. Yeah. So you must have seen lots of stories, success stories. Could you share one with us? Yeah, over the course of the past 10 years, uh, there's, there's so many stories uh, that I could say. But, but I will say this. The thing that impresses me year on year is when we bring somebody that uh, to the table that, say, for example, is responsible for running a prison system in a county together with those who are kind of senior managers in a bank, uh, with those who are working as senior leaders in the healthcare industry on Maryland's Eastern Shore. And we find out through the dialogue, through the conversation, that many of the things they face, they face together. Their, their, their roles may seem utterly, entirely unrelated. Uh, but once we start to engage in conversation, you realize we're really talking about many of the same things. And, and I'll give you one classic example. Again, I've been involved for the past 10 years, and by far the thing that was most disruptive, not just here on Maryland's Eastern Shore, but globally, was the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm, yeah. And uh, in the process, we kind of flexed, like everybody else did, uh, to online delivery, uh, back to in-person delivery, and, and struggled with that a little bit. But the conversation that bubbled up organically in that process about the nature of remote work and what were the pros and cons of doing sure leadership, at least for that year, remotely, 
uh, turned into an ongoing dialogue that we continue to have with folks uh, as part of Shore Leadership today. So Joe, this sounds like it'd be an awesome program for not just one individual from your business, maybe a whole group, or, or maybe you just become a group while you're there, right? We have had that in the past. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt there's major advantages to do it that way. Uh, it's a, you have to remember, it's a cohort-based program. So uh, these groups come together on an annual basis, uh, and they form a pretty tight bond. Um, and, and because you're having it, at least a monthly conversation, and oftentimes these conversations linger beyond just that month, they'll do check-ins, mm -hmm. for example, uh, on their own in between the formal sessions that we have at one or another location across the Eastern Shore. Uh, but that cohort will build a bond. In, in fact, so much so that there's almost kind of a running joke uh, among shore leadership classes that it's the best class ever. Whatever, oh, yeah. oh, whatever it yeah, happens to definitely. be, 2015, best class ever. 2017, best class ever, and so on. Um, and, and while I say it's kind of a joke, it, it's, it's really not. Because mm -hmm. the relationships that you build during that year of having these deep conversations and the visits that we make, it's, it's sure we're, we're visiting Easton, we're visiting Salisbury and some places that you would expect, Kent County and things right. like that. But there's also chances to, to go down to Wallops Island, for example, and take a tour of the NASA facilities. Or uh, we'll at times go out to Tangier Island and do uh, what we refer to as an ethnographic study. One of my areas of research is cross-cultural competence. And cross-cultural competence isn't just about uh, gaining an awareness, uh, a comfort level, operating in other countries. It's about people who are unlike ourselves that may live among us. So going to a place like Tangier is worth its weight in gold because you engage with people in a place where their view of the world may be very, very different than those living in Dorchester County, for example, just you know, a couple dozen miles away yeah. uh, from where they are. And, and those types of experiences, they aren't really replicated even in a, in a top tier graduate school setting because uh, of course that's primarily uh, classroom based and, and the classroom in our case, in Shore Leadership's case, is Maryland's Eastern Shore. So we try to, to keep that mix of locations that we visit, the mix of voices that come in to, to speak to the cohort every year uh, as diverse as we possibly can make it. Right, and in the beginning we said it's about community. It so is. So how best to get to know your community, to it is. meet other leaders from the community and learn about their, their area. That's right, such a broad variety of voices yeah. uh, that come into this discussion uh, throughout the year, such a broad variety of locations up and down Maryland's Eastern Shore uh, that make uh, every, every month kind of an exciting opportunity. So you had mentioned COVID, which begs the question, lots changed after COVID. Yes. How has Shore leadership changed and, and how do you use that in the future for your program? Well, coming out of COVID, uh, we've, we've taken the approach that we're preparing decision makers, preparing leaders on Maryland's Eastern Shore to face a future environment that's characterized by volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. Uh, and then we use the acronym associated with those four terms, VUCA. Volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. Uh, and that's really, it's a mindset. We're, we're trying to instill practical skills that enable to people to deal effectively with that uncertainty. Uh, and, and that's a great challenge. And, and I think that valuable skill, having that mindset to be able to flex, to be adaptable, to be resilient in the face of an uncertain environment, uh, that's kind of where we make our money, uh, right. so to speak, as leaders. All of us make our money uh, as leaders. And so as the, the world's changing and the program's changing, maybe workforces have to think about how they want to change and send people to this program. So maybe there's, it's in workforce, or if you're HR, who would you send and, and why would you send them to this? Yeah, so it's a really great question because I don't know that there's a single answer to that. You're gonna, I think, be able to use Shore Leadership for a variety of things, ranging from succession planning. Mm -hmm. Okay, who are the next senior leaders? Who do I really need to engage in a cohort-based conversation, executive ed conversation like this? Who do I really need to network with other leaders across the Eastern Shore? Um, so for the senior most folks, it could be really, it should be really, really valuable. I particularly like the idea of having mid-level managers mm -hmm. uh, and leaders engaged in this conversation. Because at that level, and even, even frontline leaders, relatively new to, to management and supervision, um, there's just an absence of great programming out there for leadership. 
And for them, it's such a, a wonderful opportunity to engage in these discussions in ways with folks that they aren't going to get anywhere else. Right. So sounds like a little bit of a cop out to, <laughs> to say, well, I like the whole range of leadership. But I think there's a strong case to be made uh, that this is professional development from first line leaders experiencing challenges for the first time all the way up through uh, your senior most folks and your got an eye towards succession planning mm -hmm. to getting them into the the most senior positions of leadership and having that discussion up and down that that variety that spectrum of uh, of leadership and management there's some power in that too yeah so you could almost say it's not just for the leaders of today but the leaders of tomorrow it certainly is in in fact in many ways it's absolutely focused on tomorrow's leaders we're giving them today's leadership skills without question but the conversations are framed in a way that we're really focused on, on what we can expect to see in the coming five years, 10 years uh, here on the Eastern Shore. So we gave people all the information they need, except how do they get involved? So how can, how can someone apply or sign up? Yeah, so uh, Shore Leadership has a web presence, uh, number one. So I would recommend going to Shore Leadership, uh, the website first taking a look at the examples that are on there for the types of things that are taught in the past. And it's really not hard to tie into, connect to somebody that's been involved in Shore Leadership. Again, 25 years of participants. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there. So many of the, the major businesses, uh, certainly the school systems, county government, as you mentioned, uh, and many others uh, have someone there. And, and honestly, the graduates of Shore Leadership are the best advertisement. Uh, they're out there talking about their experience, uh, discussing how they've kind of got that return on investment for uh, their participation. Uh, we hold uh, at least several times a year events uh, meant to provide additional information. There's some online events that occur throughout the year uh, to talk about shore leadership programming that, uh, that get the word out there pretty effectively. But there's no replacing Shore Leadership grads. They're the absolute best spokespersons we have. Well, Joe, thank you so much for stopping by. Absolutely, Shore my pleasure. Leadership it is an amazing program. It's time for, if you are watching, to join now. So head to their website, get all the information you need, apply, join a classroom, learn about leadership and just have fun because it sounds like a great time. Yeah, yeah. if, if we're not uh, having fun, we're not doing this right. So uh, it's been my experience that uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun.